Bang! 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 This counts as nerf, right? Once again this year, Aldi is selling their cheap $500 printers. So I bought two. Let's have a look. Wait, better get in there. We saw the video from Maker's Muse, who so did a review on these, and so we want to have a look ourselves, get our own experience. Experience. This one's based off of the Wan Hao Duplicator i3 Plus, whereas the previous one that they did was based off of the Wan Hao Duplicator i3. So you upgrade, you've dumped the original control box, which was a separate unit that you had to have Big chunky thing sitting next to the machine, it's now all combined into the base of the printer. Making it a lot easier to use, and a lot more user friendly. You sound so like a pro. Just a lot user friendly. Call 1-800-USE-MY-PRINTER. Oh yeah, I should've forgot. This is Brian, this is Taco. You've oh. seen Taco before. Let's dive in. Well, you... No! <laughs> 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 Samples. Yeah, um, so they supply red and yellow filament, but oh, they don't actually sell red and yellow filaments at the real, store. That's a nice red. That, yeah. looks like, that looks like Nerf red. They've supplied three, three sheets, all of them have adhesive on the back. This is the old uh, Wombot from Aurora they've bought, and having a look at that. I did film a review video with them, we might do that. We're moving on. To bigger and better things. Uh, or sm smaller and better things. That is yet to be seen. Well, unboxing, oh, some stuff. Some oh, awesome. Stuff. They actually supplied my good card. And, okay, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. So, you reckon this is from one of their own little, like, paint tin kits? And they've just probably. gone and stripped a bunch of them just to get in the thing? So, this will be the first piece of rubbish that we'll be reprinting. They actually supply a little tiny drill bit, micro drill bit, that you use to clean the nozzle. Very sharp, don't put your hands on them. Bed into, into your fingers and you're off to the hospital. This guy's a professional, he's looking at the manual. This guy's done this before. So it's connected. Yeah, I always... These bits here. It literally, you slide it in. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether they need to raise up. Okay. Coming from the front where the bed is, and is the oh. head's in the way. Oh, or oh, move the bed. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's gonna be a oh god. Uh, it's gonna have to come from the front. Oh god, go down. Down, left, back, up, up, down. Cheat code activate. Ooh, baby. And there we go, stop. Go back a bit. Yay! Now, ah, through the front, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 dig up. <laughs> Box be gone. I got it. I think that's as tight as it's gonna go. I'm probably gonna break the Allen key. <laughs> yeah, or strip the hole. Probably. The other one. Coated everything so that it's easy to do. A C goes to A. C goes to C. That's very nice. Yeah. B to B. To be or not to be. And then D connects to the little D cable. So you're giving it the D? Oh, I'm giving it the D. Slotted in nicely. So, mm, yeah. so you had experience with that. The primary cable would be the E cable here. So it actually runs up right the way around and plugs into the head. So this basically feeds all the power. It also controls, it hooks into the limit switch, which is mounted on top of the head rather than on the side panel like most 3D printers do. Just got to keep in mind and make sure that that doesn't fall out of the top of it. It can catch. From You've what been, I've been watching told. Maker's Muse. <laughs> Possible. Yeah, they're feet. They're quite literally feet. Except oh, the feet. probably want to also put super glue onto them at some stage because they're supposed to fall off really easily. Thank you once again, Maker's Muse. <laughs> you sacrificed your rubber feet so that we may keep ours. The sacrifice of the little printer booties. Does it have an auto level? No. Ah, uh, poo. Well, what do you expect? It's a five hundred dollar printer. Uh, it's not a good quality one. I helped. I good job. It, I want it noted in the credits. No smoke. No fire. Now it's plugged into oh, the wall. Little there we go. There you go. Little bit glitchy and slow on that, but I'll give it to them. You know, if they painted it yellow and gave it and then replaced the C's with K's, you know, they'd have a Pokemon. I was thinking that too. Whoever was it? 
I'm confused why it goes to there for the level wizard. It's currently sitting over a pit that doesn't have the mat cover on it. That is weird. Alrighty. This it. is apparently our touch card. What? Please stand by. Technical difficulties. <laughs> dun, 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 we are occurring confusion. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not the, just the only one that sees the problem here, am I? I have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. The screws... So kinda... where it's currently sitting is over the aluminium bed, not the black bed that it's actually going to be. Yeah, I see the problem. Oh no, that was just the initial start point, okay. not the actual measure point. So what's this for? That's my sheet of paper. That's his too. measuring stick. <laughs> Are you above average, Brian? <laughs> nope. Ah, um, paper thin. Justin, That's cool. you're more familiar with printers. How loose do we want this? That's... No idea, honestly. Less than Bangkok Hall, like more Brian, than Virgin. Brian does a lot of the printing, but um, but from what I've seen and filmed, um, usually you want enough squish so you actually get bed adhesion. Right, but I don't know about this type of grit mat, though. Uh, if push comes to shove, we'll put glue on it. <laughs> glue <laughs> solves everything! You and your freaking glue, man. Just be like, up in the corner. <laughs> glue! <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to switch basters. Game placers! Beat me to it. Oh, wherever, baby. It actually made this bed leveling a lot simpler than what I expected it to be. You expect a pain in the age. Pretty much. And once the bed is leveled, that's it, yeah? Oh, well, you gotta feed some filament in first. I... Maybe. I don't um, know. Seems... Like, that's a pretty revolutionary idea to put filament into a printer. Usually it's I, in, I it's think... in cartridges, you know? I think, I think you're talking heathen talk right now. You, you're a heretic. Blasphemy? Yeah, just... Does the tablet say? It says, do stuff. Quick menu. It's very educational. Change right. filament. I want to add filament. Are you able to finally adjust the temperatures? Yes. Uh, once it's heated up you and you're printing, you can go in and you can adjust everything on the fly. To add PLA. Shiny vacuum bag. I couldn't help myself. New, new PLA. Is it, is PLA, it, a PLA is it as good as new computer or car? No, new computer and new car are definitely better. Definitely printing a new one of those. Chuppy chop chop. He gave him the snip. No, he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we didn't, he wouldn't fit. Well, it, not it feeds better. Burn myself whilst I do this. Why does it, that, that bit get hot or? Ah, the bottom bit does. Am I feeding? Yep. There you go. Ooh. It's pooping. Oh god, no. There we go. I don't think it's meant to be that stretchy. Stop <laughs> pulling! <laughs> <laughs> when will it stop? Oh god, it's like string. I could, I could sew a sweater out of this. Alrighty, let's print a test file. Or does it come with its own... Oh, it comes with the owl. It comes with the owl. No! But this one goes in upside down. Oh, it clicks in. Yeah. Fancy. What? What? The um, the wombot doesn't click in. It just slots in. Click in is a uh, back added <laughs> feature. Oh, wow, you're easily impressed. <laughs> Print. It's the little things. SDA. If you can't appreciate the little things, then no, that's not positive. We're, we're cooling. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting cooler. Getting hoarse on the mic. We're getting. Good signs here. Very good signs. Oh, I made it do something. Nope, it's still going down. B minus. You fail. Let's go preheat. Preheat PLA. Oh, it's still going down. Oh, it's still going down. So before the bed temperature was uh, like zero, out, out of zero, and that's why it wasn't rising. Now it's out of 50. And same with the cool. uh, extruder temperature. Cool. Fan speed, 0%. Generally the fan won't spin on the first layer, it will spin on the second. Spin, little guy. Stop spin. touching it. Stop touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, stop fighting! Violence against Taco, Cheesy says yes. Mm -hmm.
Please. He's supposed to be cheese and taco. They go <laughs> together so well. What happened? Where did it all go wrong? You got goat cheese instead. <laughs> Look at that. I went vegan. <laughs> I was no longer taco. This isn't cheese. It's gooey tofu. <laughs> Start just son of a bitch. Sob. You no know work. Some great footage for you, Justin. I guess might as well go stop. But... Yep. Yeah. Okay, so cool. you're gonna go get your own? I'm gonna go make my own file. I reject your file and substitute my own. I hope it accepts Kira. Spinning trick. Ah. Alright. Um, it's just shitting. Yeah, that's what it does. It's when? It'll do that. To do the, the initial extrusion in the corner. The one bite doesn't. Oh well. It's coming out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not too close, is it? We'll, we'll find out. It's barely coming out in, on this corner. It might be too close for that first layer. Yeah, it might just need to drop this corner. If we end up with a thinner gradient to that corner... <laughs> if it doesn't just decide <laughs> to go in the opposite direction. No! <laughs> this is currently printing straight out of the box, pretty much. It's printing. We'll see if it prints well. It's always strange the path it, it, the g yeah, I... gives it. I've been trained to do custom G-code paths, and this is not how I do a G-code path. Would it be hard for them to automate it in this way, like to go from like say top to bottom? Ah, uh, it's a system one. It might even be designed like that so that it yeah, gives it time to cool down. Thinning out. Yeah, that it, corner's too too close. high. Too high. Yeah. Alrighty, let's continue. That's what? You might have been able to um just twist this to change it on the fly. I was going to... Are you gonna, are you, have you just paused it and moved up? No, I stopped it. I'm going to go back over into the corner and check with the card. If the corner is level, it might be the plate might be bowing in the middle. That's what we're going to find out in a second. I'll just check them all. <laughs> Good what work, Rulemeister. Perfectly smooth print. But wafer thin. Yeah, too close. Oh, well, you are too close. It's only wafer thin. A wafer thin mint. Now fuck off, I'm full. The weird thing is that that is actually the loosest side out of them all. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's close enough. Because that bit just smeared off, so it didn't yeah. actually stick at all. But that now it's the opposite problem. That'll, that'll happen though. Fucking tolerancing. That's promising. Pause. Oh, you can't pause. Oh, yeah. You're just gonna give it a moment. You're gonna think about it. We just did another test and we adjusted on the fly and ended up clicking that while it was doing that back print area. You can see, like, when it was doing the initial outer perimeter, it's too thin. We raised it and it seems to be just right now. No, the next one did. It still looks a tiny tad thin there, but I don't think you're going to be able to get it much better than that. That's making that damn thing worse. It really is like smushing it down into the bed. Ryan, you, 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 you fit it with it. I know. I was trying to get the... I was... It's lost adhesion there. Yeah, I know. You dumb goof. Ah, uh, go fuck yourself. Maybe I will. That back corner looks better. You can see that it is a tiny smidge thinner in that corner, uh, in that spot. Same spot as there. It is. It has filled it in now. Alright, I think this might be the winner. Fifth, fifth times the charm. The moment of truth. Houston, we do not have a problem. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, son. Alright, we'll come back in half an hour and we'll see how it's doing. That particular point, it might just be, yeah, if like what one of you suggested, it might just be a dent in the actual mat. Yeah. Final layer. We're doing the final layer. It, it looks like it's good. Well, straight off the bat, you're trying to print a functional part. Trigger mechanism. You guys should be all. Oh, you're printing guns! Ah! Band. Band guns. Yeah, yeah. Band guns, but also banned from YouTube because you're you're teaching kids how to print firearms. Demonetize all your videos. And boom! Uh, 
Oh, I think it missed a bit. It is my Cool. Yeah. It looks like it's pretty pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna jump around. Jump up and get you get down. Jump, jump. There we go, yeah. Right from here. Ta da! So, yeah. Not, you know, the finest quality, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, also you print those, your actual SDI L files, a bit low. resolution's a bit low. But yeah, that's just, I think, going around the corners when it turns, it doesn't have, um, it could be like it's turning too fast or it's, you know, not turning, because it's got the same, same on the corner here. There's little gaps here and there. What's going on? Gaps. Yeah, I'd say I just need to get the, everything perfect. I mean, look, as a first print, that's pretty fucking good. I still think we might be a bit too close to the bed based on the fact it's actually smushed out. Oh no, that always happens. Ryan edits his, uh, but he puts a chamfer on the corners to actually bring it in under. So he normally does do like really high squish and ensure bed adhesion. Okay. Well, yeah, look, I just need to fiddle with a little bit. That top, you can see a tiny bit of delayering on the top there. And it didn't quite finish that last corner of uh, here. That might be a G code yeah. issue if it yeah, didn't get that, that one instruction. Could be a code. Fifth time the charm. Uh, what do you think? Alrighty, first so first impressions. The touch screen is fantastic. One thing I hated about the Wombat was the bloody interface on it. It was so finicky, just tiny little movements and that was it. You went to a different number to what you intended to go to. Touch interface, absolutely amazing. Quite a nice print for the first go. Still needs a little bit of tolerancing done. Need to check the feed rates, make sure I can get it just that little bit better. But I'm quite happy with it. Now I've just got to do the upgrade, basic upgrade, so new spool holder, a uh, new cooler for the fan, and uh, most people print out a tool mount for them, so... So are you happy with your purchase? Be more happy once I've paid it off, but yes, <laughs> I'm happy with the purchase. Till next time, we might have a follow-up video. See you later! Bye! Laters! But Taco, what do you think? It works. Good work. That's all that matters. Look, it, it printed. It pooped out a thing. I was gonna say, I feel like that shot is directly at my crotch there. Yeah. That's where you're holding it before and it's just like, my crotch. You're liking that. That one was a gift. Mm-hmm. Psych. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, does he have gang signs? Can I he, gang signs? He's sign? pretty gangster. He's actually really cool. He's an awesome human being. Yeah. The smartest man in the universe. Bang. Bang bang. This counts as nerf, right? I've got my new all nerf dart gun. It's a foam blaster. Choo, 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 choo. You're like a cat, you're more fascinated with the packaging than the actual toy. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you know, loser. <laughs> Get in, loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> Just realized this camera angle is quite suggestive. <laughs> That does well, swear a lot, doesn't he? Like, for, for intellectual or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in. Mic on, mic on, mic on. <laughs> Fucking. Keep forgetting. Hook the bits of. Are you a shepherd now? Yes, yes. Just like the whole. Oh, I don't know. If we were printing the owl, I could be you like, heard, hey. Heard the filament. Yeah, there you go. I don't. Do they actually? This is just like this, though. Like, and then they no, like. No, the point hook to is the... to actually grab the sheep by the neck and to really? move them. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or, or to hit wolves. I'm actually a, a sheep herder. <laughs>